Avanil Kumar and here is an example on probability distribution. The question here is, from a lot of 30 bulbs which include 6 defectives, a sample of 4 bulbs is drawn at random with replacement. Find the probability distribution of the number of defective bulbs. Now in this particular case we have 6 defectives out of 30. So what is the probability of a defective piece? So, so probability of a, a defective piece is how much? It is equal to 6 out of 30. Correct? So that is what it is, which can be simplified to 1 over 5. Is that okay? Now, in our experiment, which we are performing here, is that we are drawing a sample of four bulbs at random with replacement. It means what? It means that we have a random experiment, right? We have a random probability experiment in which since we are replacing, right, since we are replacing each trial, each, each trial is, so each trial is independent trial. Correct. Okay. We have a limited number of trials. We have fixed number of trials. And the probability of defects, so probability is same in each trial, in each trial, right? So, so how much is that? Let me write down these values. So we have a random experiment, independent trials, fixed trials, fixed number of trials is n. So let me write down these parameters here. So we have n the fixed number of trials which are four since four bulbs are drawn at random with replacement right one second what is lowercase p small piece lowercase p is the probability of a defective piece which is one over five so what will be q q will be one minus p right so one over five are defective so four out of five will not be defective that becomes Q. So that is a success and failure probabilities, right? So now let me define random variable X. We say X is number of successes. In, in four trials, in four trials, is that okay? So N is number of successes in four trials. So when I say n is number of successes in four trials, it means what? It means that I'm looking for, for an event. Success, don't always take success as a positive thing, right? This is very important here. In our case, what is success? For us, uh, success, the event I should say, success is, is drawing a defective piece. So success is defective piece. In this case, defective bulb. Do you understand? So if we draw a defective bulb, then we say it is success, right? So obviously failure is not defective. A good piece, right? So that is failure. So clearly, 6 are defective out of 30, that means for success in our case are the defective pieces. So the probability is 1 out of 5 and this probability 1 over 5 is same, is same for each trial, for all the four trials. Do you understand? So that is what we're trying to say here. Okay. Now, the question is to find the probability distribution. Now all this criteria leads to what? So we have four Bernoulli's trials because 
we have independent repeatable trials, four in number, fixed independent repeatable trials, right? So they are not unlimited, they are limited. And probability remains same for success in each. In each means in each trial. Is it okay? That is what it is. Now, when we're talking about four bulbs, what could be the values of x, number of successes? Let's write that down. So that means x could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, right? So these are five values which x can take. Correct? Now, we have to find probability of each. So let's write down. Probability for x equals to 0 will be how much? Since there are four trials, so this is a case of a binomial distribution, we can write this as binomial distribution, where the number of trials are four, and the probability of each success in every trial is one over five. Is that okay? So now we can calculate the values for zero number of defects. When four pieces are drawn for the bulbs, it will be four C zero, P to the power of 0, Q to the power of 4. So all four good pieces. You get an idea, right? All four good pieces. So let's calculate this. We know 4C0 is, is 1. P to the, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we are left with Q to the power of 4. Is that okay? So, so we write this as 1 times 1 times. You want to write, you can write this. Uh, 4 over 5 to the power of 4. Is it okay? So this is what it is. So let me write within brackets 4 divided by 5 exponent 4. That gives me the probability in decimals as equal to 0 0.4096. Is it okay? Now let's calculate the probability for x equals to 1. That is 4c1 and p I'll p to the power of 1 q to the power of 3 or you can write 4 c 1 uh, p is 1 over 5 so 1 over 5 to the power of 1 and 4 over 5 to the power of 3 they have to add up to 4 correct so let's start putting these values 4 c 1 times we have 1 over 5 so let me write within brackets 1 divided by 5 there was no harm in converting them to decimal. It was easier for me then. Within brackets, 4 divided by 5, and that is to the power of 3. So, so it's Q. And that gives me value in decimals as equal to 0 0.4096, right? So this is also 4096, okay? Now, let me find the value of P x equals to 2. So that will be 4C2 and P to square Q square, correct? So it is 4C2, P is 1 over 5 square and Q is 4 over 5 square, is it okay? So it is 4C2 within uh, times within bracket 1 divided by 5 square times 4 divided by 5 square equals to, in decimals, uh, 0 0.1536. Now we'll find probability for x equals to 3, which is 4c3 pq, uh, this is lowercase, okay, q, which is 4c3 p is 1 over 5 q, 4 over 5. So that gives you, uh, 4 C3 let's say equals to times within brackets 1 divided by 5 Q times 4 divided by 5 and that is equals to in decimals uh, 0 0.0256 right and then lastly the probability for X equals to 4 will be 4 C4 p to the power of 4, right, q to the power of 0, is it okay? So which is, 
So that is 1, so p to the power of 4, that is to say 1 divided by 5 to the power of 4 and that is equals to in decimals uh, 1.1.6 1 .1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 right so 0 0.0016 so it goes uh, so point uh, I mean 0 0.0016 is that okay so that is the probability for this now based on these calculations you should check your these calculations they might be wrong but this is what we got here right so based on this calculation let me it says find the probability distribution now what is probability distribution is writing probabilities for each one of these right so so let me just make a chart here right so we'll do uh, based on this uh, so we have x values as uh, okay uh, values could be 0 1 2 3 or 4 correct so these are the x values for the given question and their probabilities the little x's are for 0 it is 0 0.4096 for uh, yeah again we got 0 0.4096 and for 2 we got 0 0.1536 for 3 we got 0 0.0256 and for 4 we got 0 0.0016 right now my calculations could be wrong but anyway uh, you can check these calculations correct you could you could check these calculations but anyway you understand the process the process is we know that there are four number of trials probability of success in our case success means finding a defective piece now finding a defective piece in each trial is one out of five so failure of having a good piece is a failure in this case is 4 over 5. Is that okay? So, so what we find here is the probability for the defective piece is a success. And in our case, that is 1 over 5. So once you do that, you get this kind of a probability distribution. You can always plot it on a graph, right? So so let's let's do it here so let's say this is the graph for us so let me just push it a bit here and in case this is these are the x values these are the x values those are the probabilities for each x so right probabilities for each x is it okay along the y so for 0 we have 0 0.4096 let's say this is the number 0.4 right so this is 0.4 for us right and then for 1, again, it is the same value for us, for 1. For 2, it is 0 0.1, so 1 fourth kind of, right? So so let's say this one is 1 uh, for 2. For 3, it is much lower, so it is, let's say, this much. And for 4, it is 0 0.00, very, very small is for 4. So that is the probability distribution. Do you see that? That is the discrete probability distribution for our example. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.